Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Minecraft Season 2. So between this episode and the previous one I've been mining a bit. So I filled up this uh, little chest of goodies here. I found 6 diamonds. It's awesome. I also found some thormium ingots in a chest. And as you can see some gems and a lot of iron, stuff like that. So, in the last episode we were actually going to make a macerator. And for that we need... Let me see, where did I put... There we go. I need three of these. And for the industrial craft... Macerator. I need to make two cobblestone, a machine block. Alright. So the machine block is made like didn't I have enough? Oh, let's cook up two more. Like this. Like that. Much better. We'll just wait for this one to be finished and we can start. So, I have installed one more mod. I have also had to disable one. Um, the mob amputation mod does not work out so very well with... Um, uh, with the mo smart movement. So now you can actually see me turning and walking, crawling, climbing, stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to live without that one for a while. I hope that's okay. Um, if they do fix the bug, I will be starting. I will start using it again. Alright, so. Electric circuit, machine block, cobblestone, and one, two, three makes a macerator. Awesome. Now we can do some good stuff here. The reason why I made all this charcoal before is so that I can keep the macerator going. So let's uh, start by making... Let's macerate up eight of these. They have fixed this mod so it's not so incredibly loud anymore. Which is very good. and it keeps macerating here. The reason I go for tin in the beginning is that I want to make uh, a battery box, so we're gonna need quite a lot of tin. But we're also gonna need to make a wrench, so I will have to s macerate up some copper ore later. So I'm just gonna let this run and uh, I'll be right back with you. Alright, so just crafting up the bronze dust. We just really need six of them, but... Let's keep it at that. Um, I'm going to have to smelt these up. We're going to have to make uh, an electric furnace, but I'm going for the battery box first. Just for for the sake of smartness when it comes to the amount of fuel that you use. Um, because any overflow made in the generator will be just that overflow. Or, although this will stay, it's about one charcoal worth of power that goes into this. So once this is done, actually I can... This is worth two of these, so... It's not a little bit of a loss, but it doesn't matter that much. So there are a few machines that we need to make. A compressor... Um, the electric furnace and we need to make another iron furnace but I do think I have enough iron for that five of them I need eight of these oh that's the wrong item there we go iron furnace and um, we have enough to make the wrench there we go, and I can move my items without losing them. Not going to move this one yet though. But we are going to dig this area out a little bit. It's straight under my building, so that'll work fine for when I want to uh, put cabling up here. Actually, this is... Hmm... 
Let's uh, close this up. I love being able to crawl through narrow openings like that. Makes this so much better. Alright, so this should be enough space. Is this one finished yet? Nope. This has though. I need to make a few more cables, so... Let's just cook up six of these. Running really low on saplings now. Oh well. That's fine with me. I'm just gonna have to use some normal fuel, but we don't need to use that in a while, so... The generator itself will provide a lot of power, and then I will make... Um, I don't know exactly where, but probably here-ish, something. I will make a little um, solar power array of some sort, just a couple of solar power plants. So this, just to get a little bit of energy out of this. Because there's nothing above. We can actually dig down... Make space for eight. And I should be able to dig in this direction. Should be here somewhere. There it is. So if I go... out here. Yeah, we can follow this wall. Run the cables along this wall somehow. I'm gonna have to plug this uh, while... until I can have the power set here. The bad thing with this is that it costs quite a lot of materials to uh, run cabling this far, but... We'll find a way. Okay, this one is closed up, and I'll put that there so that I know that that's where I want the cable to go up. And uh, this should do. Alright, so now we have the tin, we have some more rubber. Let's get the last one as well. Maybe I do have some left. I made this little chest here for... But it doesn't look like it, no. Oh well. Then we make... a bunch of insulated copper wires. There we go. We need... Um, let's make four of these. Two for that one, and uh, two for that. Perfect. And I need to have one of these, so... I don't suppose I have one extra. No, I don't. Hmm. Goes against everything to just cook up a single one, but oh well. We have enough to make that as well, which is good. But let's start with, you all know this recipe. Electric circuit, this, and the electric furnace. Now, for the battery boxes, we need some more redstone. Let's just grab that stack. Three, and that makes the batteries. Perfect. We need three batteries for one battery box. And then uh, I put uh, the wood like so. One of these there, and we have a bat box. I should probably smelt up a few more of these. I can use this one, which has a little bit of energy left. I'll do that. And um, while we wait, let's rearrange this. 
did I just get a machine block back? Oh, I got the generator back. Whew. Hate it when that happens. You sometimes lose the lose the item, which is quite bad. Now, how do I want to put this? I want to have the battery box here. Hmm. I put the battery box there, facing down, and then I put the energy, uh, the generator. I put the generator above it. There we go. That way, any energy that goes into this one will fill up. We can't then put the electric furnace just next to there and the macerator in the corner there. I think this will work. I will need copper cables under but it's one, two, three, four. Then I need to have a battery box. Yeah, so we need to put battery boxes every fifth row. So one, two, three, four battery box. One, two, three, four, battery box. One, two, three, four, and a battery box. That should actually work, um, I think. We'll take a look at that upstairs later. Is it done? Yes, it is. That's plenty of cabling. Now we can put these cables under there, and we have a fully running system here. Let's um, see now. This one can store 40,000, so let's take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because that will fill up the battery box. Actually, let's put one in there and it will fill up the generators too. There we go. You can see it's slowly filling up. Perfect. Could probably have lowered this a bit, but I don't care. It's not here to look pretty, it's here to work. But I could, I suppose. Let's uh, use a bit of micro blocks here. just in front of here. Do something like that. Sort of make stairs. Make a little bit of a platform to stand on while working with these. Yeah, that works. And I should dig out the area above this so that I can see the machines work. Now we can also put the next machine here which will be the compressor. So I need another machine block and an electronic circuit and some stone but now we have everything we need to do this so let's put three of these in there. It works a lot faster, this one as well. And um, Something like four of these. Put these in to macerate. The generator is humming along and everything is fine. Perfect. There we go. I don't have enough copper. Am I just macerating the wrong one? Yes, I am. Oops. That was not intentional. As you can see, this one is filling up. 
but we'll be using up the, uh, the materials anyhow. So the iron ingots will go into uh, refined iron, and I have to smelt these twice as well. We need to start working on the tin as well. So I'm going to work on getting um, a couple of these battery boxes up so I can start the power link. Um, also, we're going to have to put the energy into this bat box from another direction. Probably from behind, so I might need to have... Let's expand this a little bit. If I put this battery box... on there instead. Actually, we can put it there. That's one, two, three, four. We'll just put some extra storage behind here. Put one there. So it will be connected like so. It's going to be a lot of cables, but it's no problem. I have the materials to make them now, so. All right. These slabs I can make back into cobblestone. This is just a temporary room. I want to move everything up, but there are some things that I need before I do that. So, like for instance, a bit better wires. So that means a lot of diamonds, stuff like that. So, won't do that straight away. Hmm. Interesting. I got grass growing here. Whoa. That's uh, I uh, managed to locate the lag. By the way, it's uh, when it saves the game. So I've set that down to 30 minutes, so it should work a bit better now. All right. And we can actually have the cables running behind this wall here. the battery box there. And these are some crystals. I don't want to break too many of them because of the effect it can have on the V's levels, but a few won't hurt. Alright, so I'm gonna let this melt up and we're gonna make the next neat little item. Oh yeah, we need more copper. So let's macerate that up. I've built so many of these power chains before. It's almost silly. But they do take quite a lot of material to make, so if you can get it easier, like for instance if I could have it just up here, it would be better, but the house is up there and I don't want to dig out too much. Could have another battery box here, I suppose. Oh well. There we go, we have that. And uh, that's enough of the copper. So let's just make two so I get the cables. Also, we can take these for now because I need them. There we go. So, another set of cables like that. We put them like that and the redstone around it. Perfect. And these. Now we need that to make... Oh, it's the extractor that I want. Okay, well, four tree taps. Shouldn't be a problem. There. 
which means I actually can make it right away. The compressor is not high priority, but this one is. And it's done. That will triple the amount of uh, rubber I get from the sticky resin. Perfect. So, I'm going to expand on this and build out these, and uh, I'll do that off camera. So, I see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I went over to the desert to get some sand, and as you can see, there is now a death point over there. Yeah, I got blown up by a creeper, and I had to walk all the way from where the game started. I'm just happy that I put death points on. But um, that also resulted in me moving my bed downstairs to the lower section there because uh, otherwise, yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't set my spawn points. So yeah, I'm gonna have to live with that. I do hope that the rain will stop soon. But yeah. I'll collect a bit of this because I need glass for the building. So I will see you once I'm done with this. So, the battery boxes that I'm gonna make requires a lot of items. And I mean a lot. Um, 64 tin. And a total of 64 redstone. Ouch. It's because of all the batteries that I need to make. And also, I'm smelting up for a little bit more copper wiring here. Which we will need a lot of later, but for now, this will do. So. I'm gonna need 16. Well, actually, gonna need si uh, 32 redstone. Oh well, not too bad then. So let's see. That's five of them. Actually, I only needed four, I think. Oh well, saved me some materials then. But more battery boxes are always welcome, so... I'm not too unhappy about that. Um, these can be made into an electronic tree tap, so I'm actually gonna make that one. So if I can get a few more of these cooked up. Just need two. can start placing these in the meantime. Let's see now. I wanted to have that one there. And that one could go there. So let's see. One, two, three, four, and there. And... Um, Now all I need to do is chain these so that this battery box gets all the power output. I'm actually going to put the last one there. Saves up a bit on cabling. Costs a crap ton of materials, but I'm going to be happy in the end because it'll help. Um, let's craft up Another one of these circuits. A battery and a tree tap. So I get the electric t tree tap. I can charge it up by putting it into there. It will never break. It's awesome. I'm gonna spend this one first though. And uh, even more copper needs to be smelted. But these 12 we should be able to get started. One, two, three, four. And now that one's going to be one, two, three, and four. And then the um, solar power plant, the solar panel. So to make the solar panels, we are going to make generators. And we know how to make them. So a lot more batteries and circuits. So 
it's a lot of materials. We'll start out by making one. So, that's going to be 12 cables. We're going to need a lot more rubber for this, aren't we? Yes, we are. And that one is running out energy. There's a lot more copper. Well, the mines down below are quite impressive, so we will not run out of uh, materials anytime soon. Let's see if I can make. I can make two. There we go. Awesome. Two of these. I need a bit more tin, so let's grab two more of these and macerate them up. I'd rather not break the process here, but I'll put it in after it has... There we go. After it finishes up with those. Okay, so... I made this chest here for mod items, so let's put that in there. Don't need to carry the wrench all the time either, so. Once we have these. There we go. And more copper. I'll just dump off the ingots that I have in here clean up my inventory a little bit like this, so... Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more rubber, but um, for now I think it's enough to make one generator. We also need to make some iron... Uh, so let's grab a couple of iron. Eight should be enough. Mace rate them up and uh, craft a battery. There we go. For the generator, we also need to have three refined iron and the furnace. So, That's eight of these. And I need how many steel? Well, not steel, but iron. I need to have five, six, seven, eight. So, once it's done with these eight, I will be able to craft that. So, I'll do the smelting off camera. I'll be right back. Alright, so finally got myself the refined iron to make the generator. I also macer macerated up some coal dust. Smelted some glass. And we'll put that there. And we have our first solar panel. Yay! But I need to have more than one more than one more couple cable more. Uh, let's check our trees, see if there is a tree tap. There is one. Awesome. As you can see, my achievements were set again. I don't know why that happens, but that's a bit strange. Nothing. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna disable that death point. And well, five should be enough for now. So let me just extract this. And thankfully, nothing's gonna be falling down there. In there. Three should be enough for now. I'm gonna have to make more of these later. 
and uh, I will have to do that. So, but for now this will do. This will do fine. So let's make a little flower of these. I'll place it there, and we'll place two there. Awesome. Now, once sun, the sun goes up again, this will start filling up. And the next one we'll place on top of there. And then one there, on top of a cable there. And so on. And eventually we can replace them all with the uh, array type, which produces a lot more energy. That should be all the energy that we need. So, I'm gonna see if I can get my tree, uh, my uh, rubber tree farm expanded a bit, and I'm gonna go resource hunting a little bit. But I'll do that off camera and be back with you in a moment. Alright guys, look at this. The sun came up and we are now generating power. Awesome. So it's slowly but surely ticking up now, so... I have a nice buffer of five of these, so that's, uh, um, I have no idea, it's t some 200,000 energy I suppose. Here you can see it fill up from the solar panel up above. So that means we shouldn't be forced to use the generator as long as we let it fill up a bit. Should save up on some coal. And my sapphire handsaw is almost dead. Um, something they fixed in the latest version of Thom uh, not Thumbcraft of uh, equivalent exchange is that covalence dust can no longer repair the handsaws because of the duplication bug. So we are gonna have to use. Let's make an emerald saw this time. It's three of those two there and two there because this one will soon break because I'm going to cut my glass there we go broken and we're cutting this into covers I'm probably gonna need about two stacks so we'll see how much I'm gonna need Wrong way. This is where my stairs are. So these go on here. I wonder how this will look. I'm gonna go in here and it doesn't look too bad, does it? Nah. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll work. I'm gonna be spending quite some time fixing this now, so I'll see you guys once that is done. Alright, got myself a house, complete with windows. Perfect, now we can just merge all these. We'll get some leftovers, but that's not too bad. Let me hop down. And we can just dump these in here. All right. And this one is filling up nicely. Perfect. Now, I wonder if I can make some furniture or something? Or if I should just go digging for materials. I want to get some more diamonds and... Uh, maybe get a diamond pickaxe, get some obsidian, go to the nether. Should do that. So let's get a diamond pickaxe. Also, do I have any more iron? Yes, I do. I won't have a bucket with me carrying water. We're gonna be near lava, so yeah. Water is a good idea to have when you're with lava. Okay. Also, I should make that miner's backpack. I think that's how you do it. 
you need a chest like so you put iron on the sides and uh, wool above and below and then strings and you get the miner's backpack perfect now I can have this one on my toolbar and let me just check that this works correctly I'm in weapon mode and it gets picked up and I check that and it works awesome whoa why do I have a creeper in my basement yeah you guys haven't seen this but I've done a bit of fixing down in the mines I put wood on the floors to make it look a bit nicer and also make it a bit easier for me to find my way out because these caves are deep very deep I'm gonna set some signs and I'd like to showcase the next mod that I installed uh, it's a simple one editable signs I just right click and I can edit awesome isn't it yeah I really think it is it helps out so much Let's go to the upper galleries now and see what we can find. I wanted to check... That's an Enderman. Huh. Okay, so I'll dig through here, I think. Oh, he fell down. Too bad. <laughs> Another cave. With lots of iron, which is good. We're going to need that. Ow. Two endermen. Maybe I can get some ender pearls. Ah, come back. No pearl, but I'm not very healthy. no pearl. Oh, that sucks. I know that there is a tool, well, weapon, I suppose, that um, kills endermen really fast and has a better chance to produce pearls. This is where we came from, right? Yes, it is. Just so I don't get lost in here. <laughs> Wouldn't want that. Right, I'm getting sidetracked. I was going for lava, so then we need to go to the lower galleries. Hmm. And this would be the place. Is that a chest that I didn't... Hmm. I think I have to Come here. What's down here? Another cave and I see a creeper. Also for some reason Oh my shovel broke and I didn't see that. That sucks. Well Oh, that's not good. Creeper, go away. Whew. I don't like them creepers. I think they're cheating. I see lava down there, but... I don't want to jump down, so before we do that, let's climb back up here. Still some items in here, like cocoa beans, Eldritch Mechanism, wow. I 
really want to get into some thumbcraft in this series, but it's a tricky subject, and uh, I'm not very good at thumbcraft, so we'll explore it together. So, let's see here. Hmm. That was a dead end. Lost in my own caves. That's awesome. Ooh, let's get that one. Just one for now. And I know that I left a table up here. There we go. And of course I didn't bring any sticks. Yeah. I'm gonna have to live without the shovel then. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna have to live without the shovel. And I think this way maybe? Yes. This would be a way to go down. No. Huh. As you can see, there are many ways to go. And not all of them actually lead anywhere. Maybe I go down through these galleries then. Into this. Nope. I'm lost again. Oh wait, I recognize this place. Yes, I do. Awesome. The dripping roof. And we have lava. That means there should be a place not far from here with obsidian. And this would be the place. Nice. Now, was I smart enough to get water? No. So we're gonna have to find that. Well, there is a waterfall there, but I don't want to steal that one because that cave looks quite neat. But this one I can happily steal. There we go. Which means I can actually dig this thing out. Okay. So I need to make a path going down here. Oh, that was a bit of a roundabout way of walking. And... Here was it? Oh, we had water even closer. Let's see if I can get down there without falling. Hmm, nope. Maybe this way. Totally lost in the caves. Again. Well, this is the place as good as any. So, let's do this. Put more in this one. And then I will dig out that one. Uh, 
and uh, we'll dig this one out. Did I get that? No, I didn't. Hmm. There we go. I have some obsidian now. I'll just sit in this corner here and hope that it clears fast. And I got another one. It was a quite simple way of getting obsidian while minimizing the risk of getting killed by lava. Do need to keep an eye out though, because mobs <laughs> may come and visit. Say hello. There we go. And just have to be careful because when the water runs out, the lava will start pouring in. Well, it will not, but if you stand at the wrong place when it does run out, it's usually painful. And I think I lost one there. Yes, I did. I thought I saw diamonds, but uh, Nikolite can look very much like diamonds. Let's just, just stand here so we're a bit safe. So I'm gonna be doing this for a while, and I think it's about time I wrap this episode up. And the next episode, let's go to the nether, pick up some glowstone, and uh, see what we can use that for. So, until next time, guys. See you. Bye-bye.